No way that it can be prevented. All right, I'll get him out of here. No. That problem is already being taken care of. If you yell, Steve, no one's going to hear you. I'm not going to yell. May I have a drink of water? Certainly. Thanks. We're going to have to move you. Carolyn, what happened to you? I grew up. Don't give me that. When we worked together, you were one of the brightest, most able, mature cops I ever worked with. All right, go ahead and say it. So you saved my life. I'm trying to return the favor if I can. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about where your head is, how it got there, and how we can bring you back to reality. Reality? I've had a lot of reality, Steve. Vice, narcotics, child abuse. Rich crooks in the streets and poor ones in the joints. Oh, come on. There's not a working cop in the country who hasn't seen the same thing. Okay. I fell in love. Two years ago, I was assigned to infiltrate a radical group. They were small and have long since been wrapped and put away. But the leader of that group was a genuinely brave and honorable man who believed in something. You fell in love with him? Yes. He was willing to die for a cause. And did he? No. He's in prison. Convicted under my testimony. When the jury brought in the verdict, I turned in my badge. Do you still love him? Then what are you doing? Don't push it too far, Steve. Stop it! 